Today on the channel I'm going to show you six Van Halen intros that are easy to play. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to focus on six awesome Van Halen introductions that are easy to play. I want to focus on six easy to play introductions so everybody has an opportunity to get their hands around the neck of a guitar and play some cool Van Halen regardless of your skill level. So let's start it off. The first intro we're going to start off with is DOA which is off of Van Halen 2, one of my favorite Van Halen songs. And that lick sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> All right, so let's break that down. This lick is in the key of A. I'm tuned somewhere between standard tuning and E flat. Eddie Van Halen loved to tune half a step down for the Van Halen Roth era stuff. Actually, he tuned about a quarter of a step down. So our low E, this is our low E between E and E flat. Any of that old Van Halen, David Lee Roth stuff is gonna be uh, in this tuning other than like jump, okay? So let's take the take a look at the song. In A, well first of all it starts off with a he hits an A chord on the second fret and uh, he's got his whammy bar in his hand like this and we're gonna go we're gonna just dip the bar down just a little bit so all the strings go out of tune I'm only playing the first three notes of this A chord, which is A, E, A, okay? So we've got. Little vibrato on it, okay? And he's in front of his amplifier, it's so loud, he's, he gets feedback, so I can't get feedback in front of my computer monitors here. And he goes. Little pick slide, right? So. What Eddie does is angles the pick sideways or at an angle. And we're gonna pick on the low E and the low A strings. Starting with the humbucker up here. And we're gonna play this riff. I'm gonna take my middle two fingers and my pointer finger is gonna be on this F sharp. So the pointer, the middle two fingers are on the E and the A. The middle two strings I'm going to hit this F sharp with my pointer finger. So I'm hitting an A chord and then an F sharp. And we're going to go down to the low E. So it goes. Okay, and there's a little bit of a chug going in there. So he does in between those notes. He's muting the strings and he's going to hit down once like this. Okay, and then the second part of that lick he goes. It ends the exact same way as the, it did in the in the very very beginning. So what I'm going to do is hit an A, and then on the G string on the fourth fret, I'm going to go. So I'm muting the rest of these strings with my pointer finger, so I can rake into it. So I'm raking down all these strings as I'm muting it with my pointer finger, and my my ring finger is on the fourth fret on the G string, and I'm going to bend up half a step. So, like that, and then we're going to go uh, open A, a 
I'll even play it slower. Whoops, let me try again. And Mikey's just doing the A and the F sharp to add support to Eddie's part, okay? Awesome. Let's take a look at another Van Halen lick. We're going to stay with some David Lee Roth stuff for the next couple licks. Then I'll show you a couple of Hagar era licks, okay? So let's talk about Feel Your Love Tonight. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. This song is an E, and it sounds like... Okay, so let's take a look at that. What I'm doing here is I'm doing kind of a boogie woogie thing. A lot of a lot of blues players, a lot of old boogie woogie stuff you learn sounds like this. Something like that, right? So what Eddie's doing is he's playing off the major and the minor. So on the E chord, he plays a G and he goes up to a G sharp. And that's how that lick starts with this G and the G sharp. But he's in E. And we're going to go right up to this E major triad. You're probably thinking, how in the heck is that an E major? Well, this is an E chord right here. And this note right here, there's your major third, which is which is the G sharp. Okay, so and Eddie liked to play major thirds. He liked to break up chords. So, so we're gonna basically go down this riff in thirds. I'm going to show you that part first, and then we're going to add in the chugs. Those things. Which is just chugging on the low E. So this riff comprises of these notes. G to G sharp, and then we're going to be up on the A and the D string on the 7th and 6th fret. That's all the strings that we're going to play. And the nice thing about this chord is you can play the low E with it too because it's an E major chord. And then we're gonna take that same chord shape and move it down two frets, and that's a D major. And this next shape right here is an A major with a third on the bass. And it's on the fourth fret on the A string and the second fret on the D. So it's... And then we're gonna go... What that is is the D major here the A with the major third, and then it's it's a basically it's a it's a B and an E, a fourth, which is an E chord. So it's second fret on the A and the D string. So all together it's when you put the chugs. Got to put those little chugs between each change. Two chugs. Then the riff. And then he ends that lick when he goes into the verse. To an A, where Dave sings, We're getting funny in the back of my car. And then that's a, basically a D over an A. A, D inversion.
One important aspect of this song is the vibrato, also like... So... You want to overdo it. Especially on that first one. He's kind of wiggling his middle finger, which makes his pointer finger move. Makes that third sound a little juicier. Hear that? Subtle things like that make make a cool, cool riff cooler. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta add this next riff in here, uh, which most of you will probably fast forward, <laughs> but ain't talking about love. So A minor to G, right? And there's an F in the middle. F, G, riff. So what I'm doing there, I'm palm muting the whole thing. So one thing you want to get used to doing is holding this A minor position and going. Those are the first four notes, which is the low A, the E on the D string, and then C, A. So the first four are then open E, and we're gonna do this F. So that la that second part is open E, then arpeggiate down that F major chord, and then we're gonna go ring finger and pinky on the G and the D here. And we're gonna just strum down and then do this lick which is C B C A I'm gonna put a little vibrato on there too just like we didn't feel your love tonight so that lick without the palm muting sounds like Then the chorus, which is A minor twice. There's reverb on the sound, a little bit of delay to give it the echo. You can put a little in between each one. Riff. What I'm doing there is B string, which is three, five, eight, ten. And you can play the open E with that as well. Now palm muted, it sounds like we take the palm mute off on the and what I'm doing is I'm resting my palm on the humbucker. Just enough where you can hear the note ring through. It's great for all kinds of, you know, metal and rock. Especially Van Halen stuff. So that riff that I showed you, we're just going to palm mute. In slow motion. Up to speed. On the record, Eddie throws a flanger on that. I think I got one on here. <laughs> cool. 
All right, so there's ain't talking about love. Hope that made sense. Riff number four, we're gonna talk about best of both worlds. All right, cool. And I'm gonna show you the show you that too so the beginning this is like playing highway to hell mixed with uh, celebrate by cool and the gang so so what I'm doing there is I'm taking a D chord and I'm putting the F sharp right there okay this is kind of like the ACDC chord man and I'm gonna slide that up to a G like this I'm gonna leave this middle finger here and slide up to this G then do that again but one time to an A, and the, it does it pretty much the same way, just shorter. Then the song goes into... So what I'm doing there is a G, a D, and an A, with an A pedal tone. So once again, this beginning is this D with the F sharp to a G, A, now if you're wondering what he does on that turnaround during the verses, he goes, so what I did there was, I'm going from a B to a C to a D chord. So. The way I'm doing that is, I don't know if this is what he does it, but it makes sense to me. I'm, I've got my finger on the, my middle finger on the B. And I'm playing the D like this. which is the end right there. Roll back on the volume to get it nice and clean. That's what Eddie did. He liked to roll back on the volume and make that distortion come down to a nice clean tone, kind of gritty. Still has a lot of headroom in the amp. The amp still sounds big and warm. So what I'm doing there is this G chord shape, which is 5-4-3 on the D, G, B string with a low A on the bass. That's a pedal tone. And I'm taking my pick, put it in between my fingers like this, and I'm pl plucking the notes with my, my three fingers, pointer, middle, and ring, and my thumb is on the A string, like that. And then this chord down here is a D with an F sharp on the bass. So you gotta learn how to switch between these and then go to an A. And then he's gonna do this chord, which is like an A dominant seven sus two chord, something like that. Cool, so there's best of both worlds. Hope I'm going slow enough and this is making sense. So comment below, let me know if I need to slow down a little bit or speed up um, in these lessons. Black and blue is the next one I wanna show you. Black and blue is an E. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. This is basically a broken up E chord. We're gonna do these things in octaves. So we're on, I'm on the um, low A string, second fret, and the G string on the fourth. So this is, these are the two notes we're playing. 
And the beauty of this intro is we're going to take this octave, we're going to go from two up to four to five with our pointer finger, and our pinky is just going to follow along and stay one fret away from everything, right? It's going to follow his friend up the fretboard. And then we're going to add this high E with it, okay? We're going to play the octave and then do this. So it sounds like... So slide up. Got a lot of gain on it. That's the high E and the B. So we go... Go down a step. Let me start by playing you this lick. I forgot to play it in the beginning. Cool, so that's the main lick I'm going to show you. So back to what we started with. And then high E and B. Go down a fret. And then go. And what I did on this is I, I, I made the chord. So this is an E chord. So what I did was play it like this. I fleshed it out. I played the low E. Like an E chord. With my pinky right there. So we, it sounds like this. Then go. Which is low E to a G. A little bit of a bend. Back to the low E. Then he goes to an A, like this. Then it kicks in. What I'm doing there is I'm chugging on the low E. So we go the same riff. I'm playing that E chord. What I'm doing there is an E chord without the major third. In rock and roll, you got to leave the thirds out of your chords most of the time because it gives the singer and the instrumentalist to decide if they want to do a minor pentatonic or a major. In actuality, so far, um, three of these intros I've showed you already have showed you Eddie uh, dabbling with major and minor a lot, uh, especially, you know, in DOA. Feel Your Love. In Black and Blue. Cool. The last look I'm going to show you today is going to be top of the world off of from lawful carnal knowledge and this riff starts off like this okay so that riff we're going to be playing we're going to be playing uh, the B string on the 5th fret, and we're going to be playing an open E with it. So it's a unison note, right? And we're going to be going... Which we're going to take this 5th fret down to the 4th and back to the 5th. And then go down to the 2nd. 
same thing. Both strings open. And then go B, A, E. Like that. Okay? This E is very similar to black and blue, but we're gonna we're gonna add this E up here, okay? The last time they do that, they go. That's before they go into the verse A. And then I'm gonna rake up. And you're probably wondering how I get that chunky sound out of it. Once again, we're palm muting. And I'm gonna be playing this like. Got a little bit of my hand on the strings over here on the humbucker. Now if you watch, I'm going, you gotta slide into it. You can slide in, you can slide in from the fourth, the third, the second, just depends on whatever you're doing. I think I kind of take it from the, around the third. and I kind of attack those chords like percussively. So in between each one, I rest my hands on the strings. Okay, that helps you with feedback if you're loud on stage and it makes the echo and the effects, everything sound tight. All right, there you go. Six really cool Van Halen intros for everybody. Everybody can play these. All right, so good luck. Have fun. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out.